All right, so let go of Sam. Today I'm gonna make a uh, public service announcement. Um, I'm gonna give you one to two YouTube videos, and then with those one to two videos, I'm gonna take a break because my uncle told me you can't be trying to do YouTube videos and then be trying to get you a car. You know, you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. You either get the car and take a two to four month break, or you keep making YouTube videos and you don't get no car. We can't do both. You can't go to work, get a car, and do YouTube videos. Sacrifice is gonna have to be made. So I'm gonna give you guys one to two videos and then take probably a one month to two month break. Now today's YouTube video is called Sex Game. I like black women from the South. Now, most black women be like, well, you always make these sex game videos, but when you gonna talk about the black woman? You know, you always making videos about Mexican women, white women, and Asian women. What about a fully fledged video just all about black women? Today, that video is here today. That video is gonna be celebrating African American History Month because I am black, and doesn't matter, it's February, it's African American History Month. Now, black women in the South, from what I've been told, they are thick as hell. Now, my best friend went to St. Louis, Missouri, like, f like three times to go visit family members, and he told me the black women out there are thick as hell. They are built like Wonder Woman. And he told me it's like a different world in St. Louis. I don't know how true that is, because I've never been to St. Louis. Um... My other best friend that I play basketball with, he's been to Atlanta City twice. And he told me the black women are just thick as hell. Like, they got an accent. They know how to cook breakfast, lunch, dinner. Not that McDonald's, not that Burger King bullshit. And they know how to treat you real good. They know how to give you a back massage, a neck massage, a feet fetish. And they know how to carry a very strong intellectual conversation. Here in Los Angeles, you start talking, you know, ignorant, you might get away with it. You go to Atlanta, they'll be looking at you like, do you know how to read? Do you know how to write? Do you know how to count? So um, that's pretty much how, how that goes. Now, are they physically sexually attractive? Yes. There are, I actually met one black woman that was from the South. And she's like 22 years old. She used to work at Big Lots. And then she got into a fight with another black girl that was jealous of her because of her incredible curves. So she started working at 7-Eleven, which was across the street. And she's very physically, sexually attractive for a black woman that's dark-skinned. See, we have this bad, negative notion that dark-skinned black women are not physically, sexually attractive. They are. You know, they, they got nice athletic body, a big butt, big breasts, long legs, curves, thighs. There are some black men that do find dark-skinned black women very physically, sexually attractive. And some of the black women that were hitting on me in college were not from Los Angeles, California. They were deep in the South. And I didn't know it until some football players and basketball players in college told me, man, them black women that are hitting on you are not from Los Angeles. They're from the South. We'll continue this when I get to the train station or after work because the 108's here.